Tonight is weather. Time for another edition of Donovan Live. I'm Danielle Serino, keeping the seat warm for Jimmy tonight. A woman is dead after a strong line of storms whipped through the region tonight. And we have team coverage with a live report from Montville where it happened. And of course, Betsy keeping an eye for the rest of the evening. If you're feeling adventurous this weekend, may we suggest a new restaurant to try? We're talking everything from veggie burgers to street tacos with a local foodie. And Dunkin' Donuts planning to do away with the donuts. At least in the name. The details are coming up, but Donovan Live starts right now. Welcome, everyone. The big story tonight is weather. The trees are down, lightning struck homes mm -hmm. and power lines, and we have one confirmed fatality in our region. We'll fill you out on those stories in a minute, but first, Betsy's here, and she's been closely following the weather system moving through our area, and oh my gosh, even with heels, I look like a munchkin next to you. Here, here. Wait, time out. That's better. There you go. There she is. We can do this because the <laughs> news for the forecast is good. It's getting better. This is great, right? The storms are out of here. Thankfully, uh, it's a much calmer night that we have going on, at least storm wise. We have a lot of wind that we're going to have to contend with as we go through the night tonight. But you can see showers and storms are pushing out of the area. We just have a few blips left on the radar in Ashtabula and Trumbull counties, and then also down toward Tuscarawas and Carroll counties, which you notice no more yellow shading. The National Weather Service just canceled the severe thunderstorm watch, so we don't have to worry about that. But what's left of our showers and rumbles are moving through Carrollton. That's really the end of it for the rest of the night. Now, I mentioned the wind. Winds now out of the west northwest anywhere from 10 to 20 to 25 gusts. However, are 25 to 35 to close to 40 miles per hour in the last hour. That's mostly along the lake shore, but we have a very breezy night in coming and we also have a lot of dry air in coming. The dew point in Illyria is down to 49. This is a huge change coming into northern Ohio. The cold front, the front of the air, new air mass is out here to the east. It's a very easy to pick out line and that extends all the way down into Kentucky and Tennessee. I think this is kind of the telling picture of the rest of the night because this cooler, drier air is pushing in. That's going to continue to push out the thunderstorms. We do have some clouds, a few little showers to the north of us. We may get clipped by that tomorrow. I have more details on that in an hour by hour forecast straight ahead. All right, thanks so much, Betsy. Now, those storms took down several trees around Northeast Ohio and in Montville, one down tree killed a woman and sent a child to the hospital. Our Dawn Kendrick is on the scene with the very latest Dawn. This is such a terribly tragic story, so random that it's hard, in fact, for us to even wrap our minds around it. Police say a storm had just come through here when 28-year-old Devin R. Cook was southbound in, uh, in uh, Mountville Township here. She is from Medina. She was on River Sticks Roads that you see right here in a 2017 Nissan, her baby in a car seat in back, when a tree falls directly onto the front seat portion of the car. And then Cook, they said, crashed into the woods, but they said it was the tree that killed her, not the crash. The baby had no obvious injuries, but went to the hospital for doctors to make sure. A bizarre tragedy. And then there's this. Where the tree fell was literally in the same exact spot we had a fatal crash a couple years ago. Uh, in that exact same spot on River Sticks Road. I believe that one was on August 3rd, and here we are on August 4th. It is a busy stretch here of, of road on River Sticks. It happened, by the way, between Turnberry and Lake Ridge, but police were absolutely clear today. This had nothing to do, they said, with bad driving or speeds or anything out of control. There were no other cars involved. This one squarely blamed on the weather. I'm Don Kendrick reporting live from Mountville Township, Channel 3 News. Another one of those cases where you always say this is never going to happen to me. Thanks, Don. Mm -hmm. All right, well, the weather has caused extensive damage in other places around the region all day today. In tonight's 77 seconds at 7, we've got more damage to report, as well as the other stories making headlines today.
Down trees are everywhere you look in Northeast Ohio after heavy storms last night and multiple tornado warnings throughout the day. The storms were so severe, the East Lake Police Department lost power. They think a lightning bolt hit their phone lines, and at last check, they're still in the dark. A woman run over twice in one night is recovering in Cleveland. She was leaving a pizza shop with her kids on Lorraine Road. A pickup truck hit her first, and the driver stopped to help. But that's when another car, which didn't stop, ran the woman over a second time. She's in critical condition. The man known as the Pharma Bro has been convicted of fraud. Today, a New York jury found former pharmaceutical CEO Martin Shkreli guilty on two counts of securities fraud and one count of conspiracy. Shkreli was accused of defrauding investors and stealing from his old drug company to pay them back. Tax-free weekend is underway in Ohio. It covers clothing for $75 or less to school supplies at $20 or less. Expect downtown Willoughby to be packed tomorrow. It's the second annual Palumbo Pub Crawl that raises money for area firefighters battling cancer. The event is named for former Beechwood Fire Captain Mike Palumbo, who died just a few months ago after a year-long fight with brain cancer. All right, from good news for guys or gals planning to propose to bad news if you own a Honda, it's time for one for the money where I'll just talk to myself instead of Jimmy. And we start with Hot Wheels. The National Insurance Crime Bureau identified the 10 most stolen vehicles for last year. Honda Accords and Civics from 1997 and 98 are at the top of the list with nearly 100,000 thefts combined. They're followed by the 2004 Chevy pickup. Apparently thieves like older vehicles without built-in anti-theft systems. Now, diamonds are supposed to be a girl's best friend, but millennials are busting that myth. A survey from the CashLorette.com shows that the majority of people between the ages of 27 and 36 are only willing to spend one month's salary on an engagement ring. Three months, you may remember, used to be the standard, but they will spend money on the wedding reception with the average cost $35,000. But imagine your special day is approaching and you're missing the most important thing, besides your spouse, of course. I'm talking your wedding dress. Last month, we told you about Alfred, Alfred Angelo Bridal Stores filing for bankruptcy. They originally said they would work to fulfill orders. Well, now they're saying, if you haven't received your dress, you won't. But women are taking to Twitter with the hashtag Alfredo Angelo, and former brides are coming to the rescue, offering to loan them their dresses. Now, for some great deals, I'm going to turn it over to my colleague, Matt Granite, in tonight's Ways to Save report. He's showing us a bed-ready bargain, that is, if he's paying attention. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear my cue because I've zoned out everything around me, including noise cancellation, all tied to one of my favorite back-to-school deals to help you or your significant other or your kids sleep. This is not just an ordinary sleep mask. You see these controls right here? Oh, yes. Wow. Do I feel great. I very rarely get a little 15-minute nap in the middle of the day. These were wonderful. Blocked out the light. They're easy to use, and they even sync with my phone. I put the relaxation app on, and I drift off to sleep. I'm on a balcony in New York City. Some of you know I launched a show here, and I have to sleep during the day for some of it. You hear those sirens? You hear that crazy street noise? I can actually cancel that out with the best Bluetooth headset I've ever used built into a sleep mask. No noise, no lights, and none of this garbage going on behind me. This deal, which is not a paid product, located on our website, WKYC.com, is where I have you covered. Happy savings. Back to you. All right, still ahead, a new study holds Cleveland high above the others when it comes to where millennials want to live, and this is great news for us. Plus, we are talking food. The face behind CLE Foodies fills us in on everything from pop-up restaurants to a way to add a little adventure to your meal. Stay with us. Channel 3 News at 7, Donovan Live, is made possible by Adventure Auto Group, where you can get real deals from real people.
Welcome back. We are talking food now, the best topic in the world. And we've got some pretty cool options if you're looking to grab a quick bite on the way to the game, or perhaps you just want to try something new in the city. Trisha McCune, the person behind mm -hmm. CLE Foodies Online, and who also has a pretty popular food truck around town, mm -hmm. is here with some unique suggestions. Now, we're covering three topics tonight. What you're craving, a unique dining experience, and the best current pop-up restaurants. So first, you All told right. us you've been craving burgers? Yeah, yeah. I'm actually uh, eating vegetarian these days, Ooh. so I'm craving the Veggie Big Mac from Pura Vida by Brandt. They went all out on this thing. I got halfway through one before I realized it was a veggie burger the first time I ate it. Really? Incredible. It's what you want a Big Mac to be. Now, you're doing veggie burgers. I'm just curious why. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's, it's veggie food, vegetarian food. Because yeah. you're going all vegetarian? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to eat mostly vegetarian right, right now. That's yeah. very noble of you. <laughs> but if you want meat in your burgers, I highly recommend you find Betty's Bomb Ass Burger food truck. Betty's uh, Bomb Ass Burgers. Yes. You okay. Can, you can find them at uh, the Cleveland Flea and Walnut Wednesday. Oh. So seek them out. Incredible burgers, a lot of different varieties. Really, really good stuff. They make their own tater tots but too. But you can't eat them anymore. I can't. I can't. No, she makes a veggie burger too. I'd, I'd, I'd eat her veggie burger. I'd give it a All try. All right. Well, let's go to your suggestion now for a unique dining experience. Yeah. What is if that? If you want like the craziest dining experience, you, most unique in all of Cleveland, mm -hmm. get together like a dozen of your best friends, friends, family, head on down to Butcher and Brewer and go to their butcher shop, order one of everything. You cannot go their wrong. Food is their good. food is so good. You cannot go wrong. Get a couple of growlers of beer. I highly recommend their albino stout. Yeah, and they then, have nice beer too. Yeah. Then book a cruise on the brew boat. What's the brew boat? So this is a 30-foot catamaran that's pedal powered. And it's gonna take you on a tour down the Cuyahoga River. Really? Yes. This is the coolest, it's the coolest thing. That yeah. is pretty cool. Yeah. All right, so for people that don't know what pop-ups are, tell us and give us yeah, your favorites. Yeah, pop-ups are like the hottest thing right now. So um, really go check out um, City Boy Kitchen pop-up at the Spotted Owl. Okay. Um, his, uh, David's food is, it's art. Um, and he's doing some really cool stuff at these pop-ups. There's a tostada pop-up this Sunday, 8 o'clock at the Spotted Owl. I get some good cocktails, now, too. Now, is this all on your Instagram account, or...? No, you got to find this. you got to search all this stuff Just go out. Online, like, yeah, huh? yeah, go all online, right. yeah. All right, Follow quick, Spotted Owl. Yeah. Quick fire. Best in Italian in town. Uh, best Italian... I don't eat a lot of Italian food. I don't eat Italian food. <laughs> best Indian. <laughs> um, no. Best I sushi. I, I'll tell you best Vietnamese. Go to Tato in Parma. Okay. Uh, there's a couple other pop-ups I want to mention. Cleveland Field Kitchen, um, they're doing something on August 19th at uh, Harvest Bell Farms. Okay. Um, it's called Nomad. Check that out. And then I, I too, have a pop-up. I have a pop-up in Lakewood nice. at the Side Quest. Check out Walk and Roll pop-up Thursday, Friday, Saturday nights. You've been doing a lot of research on food. How do people find yeah. out about you? Um, so you can find me on Instagram. Um, that's how a lot of people follow me. And I go different places every day. And people save those places and make lists. Um, but I do have a, a big announcement. Okay. To <laughs> What's the big announcement? Today. So I am partnering with Lauren Kluth that founded the Klee Seats restaurant app. And we are launching... Uh, Mouthwater Media, a... Uh, nice! Yeah! All right, you're <laughs> so, my new best friend. Yeah! <laughs> Congratulations. So we're focusing on increasing awareness for edible brands. Love and, it. And uh, my four years in the restaurant industry now, and combined with my decade in online marketing and Lauren's uh, incredible app and events, we are combining and launching this and trying to help local restaurants. If you want, if restaurants need help, they can visit. And that's, uh, awesome, for, <laughs> that's awesome for Clevelanders because yeah. we love our food and the more yeah. the merrier. Visit uh, mouthwatermedia.com. Thank you so much. Yeah, appreciate it. All right. Next up, America runs on Dunkin', but we'll tell you why the coffee chain wants to change their name. And Betsy's still monitoring the skies for our upcoming weekend plans. We'll be right back.
Hi, honey. Do uh, so I read the you know uh, the the first thing, the VO, and then we go. It's an all-girl segment. I'm joined by blah blah blah. One VO at a time, then chat. Okay. Thanks. Let's take a look at the trending stories on tonight's three on three. Cleveland on the map again. You might not hear the words Duncan and Donuts together anymore. And former OSU football star Cardell Jones just made a very generous donation. It is an all girls segment. I'm joined by Betsy and Trisha from CLE Foodies. Yay! Who you decided won. to stick around because we love food. So we're going to start with former Ohio State QB and Cleveland native Cardell Jones. He's helping out an old friend. He tweeted about meeting a 17 year old Buckeye fan who recently died. Jones says he will match donations made to a GoFundMe page for her funeral expenses. Mm. That's beautiful. So he, yeah, he went down to the children's hospital down there and he, you know, wanted to brighten the lives of some of these people and he met this fan who happens to be from Detroit mm -hmm. and, you know, is going to help out with their funeral expenses. That's, awesome. That's a stand up guy, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good We're guy. A fan. All right. Catch. To another story now, Cleveland places fourth out of 10 cities ranked for their growing millennial population. The list was put together by a corporate real estate agency, and it also noted that Cleveland has the second lowest cost of living out of the 10 ranked cities. Now, obviously, this was done by a company that, you know, would benefit from having people in downtown <laughs> right. Cleveland, but I got to tell you, as somebody who moved here, the place is awesome, and the cost of living, you cannot live here in the same quality out of any place around the country. It's an amazing place to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping up with the foodie yeah. theme. Well, we I just had a it. friend from Washington, D.C. who came into town who'd never been to Cleveland before. I, I drove him around. He was stunned oh, at the right, traffic. Right, right. He yeah. was totally, he was like, where's all the people? Yeah, where's right. all the traffic? Mm -hmm. and, and he was just blown away by how friendly and easy to get around Cleveland is. Everybody's really friendly. Yeah. And for the millennials who, you know, a lot of them are involved in politics mm -hmm. now, shockingly, uh, this is a great place to be mm -hmm. if you want to be in the center of political. And, and health care yeah. growing the way it is, it's great for people with advanced degrees. Sure. Mm -hmm. I, you know. I take a lot of out-of-towners on food tours. Here she goes back to the food again. Get, <laughs> they get so amazed by all the stuff we have. And we, like the farm-to-table stuff is not big in other cities. It's super huge it here because awesome. we have so many local farms. And we have so many terrific chefs here. I mean, yes. what, what, I happen to love Zach Brawl yeah. and Dante, <laughs> but I, you know, they, they do some good stuff. Yeah. Um, but I got to hook up with you because I need to keep expanding my yes, repertoire. Definitely. Not my waistline, but my repertoire. <laughs> All right. For Korean. Speaking of, I like Korean. Gives you bad breath. But. All right. Dunkin' Donuts may be saying goodbye to their donuts, but just in the name, the company is considering going by just Dunkin', so consumers see it as a destination for coffee not just donuts. What, what are your thoughts on that? Why? Just, just, just Be who slow you are. your roll, yeah. leave it. I mean, you got a good thing going, don't, don't mess with it. There's just way too much local coffee for them removing something from their name to ever be a competition to Are me. they going to put Dunkin' on yeah. their coffee, you know, bags? <laughs> just Dunkin'? Just now Duncan. they don't know what it is. What are, I, what are you Dunkin'? Dunkin'? Yeah. And, and you're, move, you're moving into Starbucks territory, oh. and you know, for me, Drama. that's not a good thing. Wait, but before we go, right. Betsy, you got some big old earrings there. I do. Actually, I have to tell you, I'm, I'm excited about these earrings. I got these from some viewers. 
Jim and Elaine Mueller in Aurora said they love to watch and they love to watch Jimmy and me. Not that they don't love you. That's okay. <laughs> you, you guys are regular. And it says, please accept this small gift of appreciation. Add them to your collection of big, big earrings. Done. <laughs> love it. They look great. They're and big. for you, we devote this weather forecast That's right. to those viewers to thank them. And it's a great night to be out there, although it's a bit windy. So if you are wearing large earrings, <laughs> hang on. You could end up like tearing your head off or something if it gets the wrong gust. There's a look at the radar right now. The rain is out of here, friends. Northern Ohio is dry except for just a few little pops. One is out by Andover. Right there, pine tuning, and then you head down toward the, the Salem area and on out to the east. The rain is out. What's moving in is drier, cooler air, and it's coming in on very brisk wind. We have wind right now sustained anywhere from 10 to 25. Gusts have been 25 to 35 to 40 at times, and it's going to be a very brisk night tonight. We have a breezy day on tap tomorrow as well. Look at these temperatures, 60s. Did you step outside? It's cool. It's breezy. You need a sweater or a jacket if you're going out this evening, but it does look like it's going to be a very nice evening for us, albeit a little cool. 67 in Chi-Town. It's also 61 in Marquette. That cool air is settling in, and by tomorrow morning, we might even have some 50s on the map, but we're also going to be seeing some sunshine. Now, that being said, with the cool air coming in, that does create some instability. You can see these little instability showers throughout southern Michigan. That's kind of a harbinger of what could happen here tomorrow. Uh, I think we'll get on the southern end of that and may get clipped by a few little pops of sprinkles or showers. So as far as the hour by hour forecast goes, you can see those few showers showing up as we go through the overnight hours tonight into the day tomorrow. Mostly cloudy skies are around. We've got breezy conditions. Temperatures midday right around 70 and we'll make it into the low to mid 70s. So a far cry from where we have been over the last several days. More notably, it'll be feeling a lot less humid. That's some good news. We'll be in the 70s for tomorrow, upper 70s on Sunday with shower and thunderstorm chances returning overnight into Monday. And the rest of your Universal Windows Direct forecast has a beautiful week setting up for next week with mostly sunny skies, comfortable temperatures in the 70s and low 80s. We'll be right back. Here's what's coming up tonight on NBC, brought to you by Mercedes-Benz of Bedford. Experience luxury, service, and sophistication. Shop Mercedes-Benz of Bedford. Before we go tonight, we have got video you have to see to believe. It's hikers in Utah. They were all but stranded at a national park. When you see it, flash floods made it seem impossible to cross over that body of water. So they all got together and formed a human chain in the water 
One of the hikers called the experience inspirational. It was honestly kind of cool how everyone just banded together. Nobody really needed to be said, hey, come help. It was just everyone started helping. Oh, so dangerous. <laughs> but that's awesome what they did. So dangerous. All right, thanks for watching. Entertainment Tonight is next, and Russ Mitchell is back at 11. But remember, we've got constant updates on our app and at WKYC.com. Hope you have a great, safe I'm looking at my earring. And a fun weekend. <laughs> Hello. Aren't you jelly? <laughs> they are nice.